they just can't take cash away all at once. I, I just don't see that happening. Now, in time, yes. We have excitement, suspicion in the precious metals sector surrounding this prospect that banks are shutting down the accounts of coin shops. It's taken a little wave of interest into the precious metal sector. What does it mean for availability of silver, gold, and platinum coins at your local coin shop as we move into the future? And what does it mean about price? I thought, who better to talk to than our good friend, Coin Shop Chris? He has some thoughts he wants to share with us in this video. Chris, welcome back to Ron's Basement. Ron, week after week, is always a pleasure to be back in the basement. I just would like to ask everybody, please like, share, and describe because this gets the word out to everybody. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. It's always a pleasure to have everybody in the basement. Well, it's our pleasure to have you here, Chris. What do you make of these viral videos going around of coin shop owners getting their bank accounts shut down and people are coming up with all types of speculations that uh, there's a, a war against uh, the coin shops? Do you have any any thoughts on that matter? Ron, you know, like, like you said, this is speculation at this time you know i have reached out to a few other coin shops this week across the country i have not heard one other person except for these two videos have popped up in the past week or so here that banks are sh literally shutting down coin shops because of a situation against coin shops i mean these two people ron you know the bank is not you know, banks or banks, we don't know yet. We know one name of bank, which we were not going to repeat on this channel. Um, you know, why are they doing it? We don't know. It seems to me, I mean, we got one out of Illinois and one out of, out of Ohio. Is this a regional thing? Is this one bank? Because we know one name. We don't know the other name of the bank that the other guy has. Um, you know, we just, you know, this... It's this war on cash run. I mean, you know, we, we can go down a whole list of why this is happening. Um, is, it, is, not, it, is it CBDCs? Oh, is it Are the CBDCs behind this? You know, that and it, that could be some speculation there, too, and absolutely it could. You know, um, the first video that most of us saw, the guy was saying it's also happening in some pawn shops. Well, that was in Pennsylvania. Again, I mean, it seems like it's right around that section of the country where that one bank could be in multiple states. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. is this bank, is this one particular bank really in trouble, not to defend the banks here, but trying to protect the coin shops saying, we don't want your business because this is what's really going on, but we're not telling you. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, I mean, it's very confusing. I mean, if we if we look at it underneath this framework of fear, right? People in the precious metal sector are, you know, always fearful of, oh, cash is going away, and we're going to be moving to a CBDC. And uh, but it's confusing because then you think about the banks, and the banks the banks need deposits right now; they need money. So it's a it's kind of a, a of a confusing scenario. You know, I get people all the time. I got a, an email this morning from a couple that said. We're scared because when CBD, CBDCs come, what what about the cash that we own? Is that going to be, are we going to be able to use that anymore? And what about our ability in a CBDC cashless environment? Uh, what about our ability to uh, to harvest value essentially from our silver and gold coins? So there's, you know, I don't think it takes a lot in terms of one or two coin shops saying, hey, we got our accounts closed for people to kind of freak out and be interested. Um, and obviously, you know, judging upon the level, level of interest in these videos that were done by these coin shop owners, uh, it's a very hot topic. It's, it's a very hot to topic. And, you know, going back to cash, you you know, if if they were to say, let's say, take cash away on, they would have to give the people time to turn in the cash before it becomes worthless. You know, I mean, they they just they just can't take cash away all at once. I I just don't see that happening. Now, in time, yes, but you know, if we if we're using credit cards right now, Ron, are we using your debit cards? Most people really don't use cash as day and age. So, I mean, you you know, 
and everybody's worried about being tracked when they buy stuff or what they buy. You're being tracked now if you're using a debit card or a credit card. Let me tell you that. I mean, you know, there is a history. There is a number on, there's a transaction number on that, you, you know, authorization code. And they all, somebody needs to do is bring up and see exactly what you bought. So, I mean, you know, Ron, you know, this this to me, I, I think this is a regional thing. I, I really not defending the banks, Ron. But, you know, I really believe this, me, what I'm getting out of this, I think this particular bank that um, this one woman who owns the coin shop, I think that bank's in trouble. Mm -hmm. And that's well, just... Let let, 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 let's go down the uh, the, mo the like the sensational route that that uh, that I think some are, is, is creating fear in some people. The most sensational version of this story is the Fed. Uh, the Fed has their new Fed Now program. They're going to be rolling out a CBDC. Uh, they don't want people to have paper money anymore. They want to get rid of paper money and they don't want people to hold precious metals. So this is all a big conspiracy. And again, this is all speculation that I'm sure this is all a big, a big conspiracy. And, and the Fed is in the process of, uh, of, of shutting down coin shops so that people can't get silver and gold anymore. Would you say that's the most like sensational fear based version of that story? Absolutely. I mean, you know, the Fed now it's the Fed now program is bank to bank transactions. That's yeah. what Fed now is. Yes, uh, eventually CDBC will be rolled out, mm -hmm. but that's this is the start of it. Yeah, well, I forgot. I, think, I forgot. Hold on. I apologize, Chris. Uh, I'm good at interrupting. Uh, the other thing we forgot, and then there's going to be people knocking on your doors soon, and they're going to want to take all your silver and gold. How do you feel about that, Chris? If you're looking to buy gold, silver, or platinum, do yourself a favor and check out Pimbex, the online precious metals bullion dealer and sponsor of Ron's Basement. I was a happy customer before they offered to support the channel. You'll find they have the best prices, quality, and service. I think Pimbex is best, and you will too. And be sure to tell them that you're from Ron's Basement. That's not going to happen. I mean, you know, it's, we have a whole. You know, when that happened, when was it 1933? It was, I believe it was, Ron. Yeah. You know, when, when that happened, you know, we're, we're almost 100 years later, you know, 90 yeah. years later now. Yeah. Um, you know, people have more defense tools. Let's put it that way. Ron, what are you eating my ding dongs for? Are those my ding dongs you're eating? <laughs> yeah, those are your ding dongs. Somebody sent Chris three boxes of ding dongs and I refused to mail them to him. As long as they don't come asking for your ding dongs, you're fine, right? <laughs> well, you know, you told me you're gonna mail me my ding dongs, and you're saying they're eating them now. Gosh, I, darn it, darn. I did the math, <laughs> and it's much it's much cheaper for me to mail you all the empty wrappers than it is to mail the actual <laughs> ding dongs. <laughs> that's all. Right. Enjoy, enjoy your ding dongs, there, Ron. So, so that's the most sensational version of the story. The other side of the coin pardon the pun, is that this is, the uh, as far as we know, two banks, although one of the guys said he'd heard some other people in Pennsylvania at a coin show in Pittsburgh, some other coin dealers said, yeah, we're having problems with our, with our banks. But my question is, are, are are these accounts that are being closed down? Are they just is this just happening in the in the in the uh, in the silver gold coin shop bullion business, or is it a trend we're seeing across a number of businesses where banks are are closing down people's accounts? And you, does that make sense? Like, is this happening in the uh, in the uh, cash uh, convenience store, you know, small convenience stores that deal a lot in cash? Is this going on across the board? You know, if it's not, if it is just going on in, in the um, in the coin shop, you know, silver gold uh, dealer type arena, then I think it is something that warrants some um, suspicion, I guess you would say. You know, I mean, but every business, you know, every business deals in cash, just about. I mean, you know, they, you know, let's take what, like, take the biggest corporation in America on Walmart. You, you know, Loomis comes or Brinks comes, picks up their cash, and they and they take it to the bank from them. So, yeah, I mean, not everybody uses a credit card. But there's, you know, when I used to work at Sears, we used to deposit 
close to sixty thousand dollars a day. You, yeah, you know when the rumors came and they pick up the cash and you, you know, I mean, so everybody's dealing in cash. Um, it, in coin shops, pawn shops, they normally strictly deal with cash or checks. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. is it is it a red flag for these banks? The system of they are they in this Fed now program? That's another thing we got to be wise about right now. Are they in the Fed now program where this red flag them and say you got to get these accounts gone? Yeah, yeah. And or or is why? it or is it or is it a, a a symptom of stress in the banking industry um, that the banks are for some reason uh, and and again across the board, not just in the go- uh, gold silver coin uh, uh, coin shop uh, industry. Is it going on across the board? Is it is it the banks not wanting to deal with cash or is it a problem with the banks that they're saying, oh, you know, we, you know, the banks are under stress and for some reason they're, um, I don't, I don't think we know. Right. I mean, I think that's, that's the end, the end of, and the, that's of the bottom line, Ron. We just don't mm-hmm. know right now. I mean, yeah. until the bank, you know, the bank, obviously the bank don't have to give a reason why they're doing it because we all sign on that dotted line. We can suspend your account at any time for any reason just like any retail yeah. store or any business can refuse anybody for any reason yeah yeah okay I mean, now okay. we're providing as a service so i mean you, you know we have two right now that we know of we don't have the really the hardcore proof of the two right now um are people making a mo uh a mountain out of mold here out here Possibly, is this more to come? Maybe. Um, you know, on, uh, you know, I think we're both on the same page with your channel, Ron. You know, we we don't really try to jump the gun. We try to find the facts first, and the facts are very limited. Well, and I think that it, obviously it's a very, and our heart goes out to both of these people that have had their bank accounts closed. What a pain in the rear, right? Life has enough challenges, so our hearts go out to them. I do think that potentially a mountain has made, been made out of a molehill. I also think it's important for us as we kind of kind of wrap up wrap this up to realize that I think we can rest assured that if this becomes a uh, a growing trend that that we're going to hear about it, right? Because people are so kind of hyper uh, excited and focused on it right now, especially within the gold and silver uh bullion community that if the if the if it does continue to grow that we're going to hear about it right absolutely i mean you know more and more information will come out about it and and maybe the news will jump on this and find dig a little bit more i mean but as of right now ron um i have not heard any other coin shop that we deal with this has happened to so it's had banking problems that's had banking banking problems yes yeah. Okay. So All let's right. let's just be aware of that. Um. So um. I think you want the numbers for the week, right? Yeah. Um, let's have the numbers. Let's get the numbers. All right. Um. Silver. The last past thirty days, Ron, we were up twenty four cents an ounce, or zero point nine seven percent. Gold over the last thirty days, up twenty six dollars and forty cents, or point one three six percent. Platinum did very, very well the last 30 days, up $28.30, or up 3.01%. And our friend Bitcoin was down $3,920.79, or minus 13.21%. Wow. So Bitcoin wow. took the biggest, the, the loss for the week. Um, that's why I'm not I'm not a fan of Bitcoin. Many people, you know that your viewers know know that I, I don't like Bitcoin, but I just want to remind everybody there is a lot of scams in the comments after your videos get posted. Please do not answer those Bitcoin, those cryptocurrency comments. I am very active on the comments and I try to remove them as quick as we can get them going. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, let's make it let's make it abundantly clear. Coin shop Chris does not like Bitcoin, right? Hundred and ten percent. I do not like Bitcoin. <laughs> or any fully, other crypto for that matter. Fully committed. I want to mention too, before we say goodbye here, 
is to, to, to the people watching us that uh, first, thank you to Coin Shop Chris for joining us and for everything you do for the channel. But let's t let's talk about the gold price in particular. I mentioned this on a live stream last night. Uh, the the Yahoo Finance price right now is one thousand nine hundred sixty six dollars per ounce. We are not that far. We are within to use a uh, a very crude technical term. We are within spitting distance now of an all time high five percent. Right? It's not going to be that big of a move. And I, you know, I, I, I just I think when we get to that new all time high this time, it's going to be free sailing ahead. So we'll we'll see how that plays out. Chris, thank you again for everything you do for every from everyone watching right now. We appreciate your time. And uh, can we count on seeing you again next week? Always, Ron. Always a pleasure to be back with you and your viewers. Um, you know, I can't thank thank him enough for the donations I've gotten. I appreciate it all. It, you know, we do a lot of work on this, and it's it, the, you know, it really helps me out. It makes me happy, and you, you know, it's it just very much appreciative. Yep, that's great, Chris. Yeah, for everybody watching, uh, if you want to help uh, uh, support Coin Shop, Chris, in the description of this video, there's a link where it says support Coin Shop, Chris. You can uh, you can do that there. We'll talk to you next week, Chris. Thank you. We will talk to you next week. Yes, Ron. Bye bye.